Good afternoon, our viewers. Uh, I'm Omocheno. Welcome to this show. With me is the sizzling Ms. Uh, Tourism, Kenya, Sia County, Latesha Oswaga. She was also crowned uh, Ms. Chuka University in 2013-2014 academic year. And we are doing this uh, to showcase uh, what she does uh, for this county. And we are going to have a show uh, courtesy of Sia County government. And we are going to ask a number of questions uh, because she is doing so many programs for the county, girl child promotion, about teenage pregnancies, and of course what it takes to uh, be crowned Ms. Tourism. Sia. And I hope you are going to have an incisive uh, debate. So welcome to the program, Natasha. Thank you so much. Can you tell us how was your background growing up? Uh, my background wasn't easy. I think I was the only hope that my mom had. Oh my you know, I have grown up from a single parent. I've been brought up by a single parent. Uh, my mom used to brew changa. I remember in class four now we had to come back home completely. We used to stay somewhere in Busia when my dad was still alive. Okay. Then uh, after my dad died, we came back to the village. So you know, like uh, my mom was that woman that, uh, you know, like those traditional women, the husbands were the ones working. Yeah, so the you know, yeah, so you know, when the breadwinner dies, now you have nowhere to start from. So my mom came to the village, so I grew up seeing my mom making changa. You know, <laughs> I, can't changa imagine the, now. Yeah. I could go to school barefoot and I didn't even have clothes because my mom could only afford what we could eat. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> that's quite interesting. Yeah, so I could wear these torn uniforms, I could come back really fast to help my mom. You know, my mom is also a disabled a woman oh, sorry for yeah that. so she can't carry the water alone so you have to come back and do all these duties that you're supposed to do so primary school uh actually i think in primary school i was the second best girl oh, i went goodness. to high school i was called to a very very big high school it's called st Clair's baragoli girls okay so you know that time i really wanted to go to the boarding school then you know when you're also a child you don't really know that your mom cannot <laughs> get afford that. Yeah. You know that will afford yeah. to school. and then my mom always wanted to give me the best sure. so my mom really struggled i remember that day i'm telling you we make we made a lot of changa we sold we sold oh until <laughs> To pay your yeah, fee. until oh my, my mom got uh, money to buy whatever I was required with to be admitted in St. Clair's Maragoli Girls. Oh so at Form 1, I used to come back home for school fees like every, <laughs> <laughs> every weekend. Oh, you know that oh scenario goodness. that you are not visited. Mm. Those visiting there, at that yeah. time it was, you are not visited. Sometimes my mom didn't even have a phone. She doesn't know when schools are closed. Oh so she, she she could not even send me transport. So the principal would give me the transport. Then when I come back at the opening day, I would refund. Oh so at form three, first time I was tired. And then I told my mom, why should I go back to Maragoli Girls and I see a school around? Then you know she was like she didn't want me to come to this school. Like she didn't. She thought I would feel like my dreams are now shattered. Then she told me, are you sure you can go to this school? I said, why not? It doesn't matter <laughs> where doesn't you matter go where to you school are. from here. Yeah, whatever. So the books are the same. Yeah, the the teachers books, are the same. Yeah, the mm -hmm. teachers are the same. Mm -hmm. So I went back. You know, I left Maragoli like that. I left books. I left the, the mattress. I left my... <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. I left everything like that. So there is a teacher I still remember his name. He was my principal by then, Mr. Shikanda. Okay. So my mom went, explained to him. Then he, he told my mom now that she doesn't have report form, she doesn't have any book, <laughs> any proof. <laughs> yeah. She will come and do the interview. Hmm. So I did that interview and I think I passed, probably I was the top because I did the exam that the oh, form that is uh, that, yeah. music to her ears. Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. So that is how I passed. I went, they, they agreed to admit me, and I started schooling in St. Stephen Singinga Secondary okay. School. So my good Upon being mm. admitted at, at uh, St. Stephen Secondary School, mm -hmm. I didn't have uniform. Then I used to have a friend that we schooled with in uh, Sifuyo Primary. Mm -hmm. So she was admitted, but I think she got transferred. So I went and took his uniform oh <laughs> and everything, yeah. That's quite a trend, eh? Yeah. Okay. So you know, I, I, so you I fitted felt, in the high yeah, uniform. Or? Yeah, and then I went to school, I started schooling. I felt a bit of relief. 
because you know the embarrassments that come with uh, going back home because of school fees yeah yeah the embarrassments that mm. comes with no visiting day you are not seeing anyone uh someone doesn't even know when the school is closed and everything so i was a bit relieved in june i love my mom so much now oh what goodness. kept me going is at least i would come back see her help her hear her problems mm. and everything yeah yeah so maybe that time that uh you could do your domestic uh, chores maybe up to 10 uh, p.m mm. then go to bed and mm with the first cock crow mm. maybe uh, did you uh, uh, did during that time were you seeing how far you could go because i know it's all take determination because you know sometimes you could just sink eh? mm. and this could just wear you down because mm. imagine you come from a boarding school and where uh, because of not paying fee maybe what did you see maybe 10 or so years you, uh, later you, you see i i wasn't seeing that i could go somewhere because i was like uh, what if i pass you know those questions yeah what if i pass will i really be able to go to college yeah what if something happens right now then i was like how comes people buy these big cars <laughs> like how come some people are just like they are just so comfortable mm -hmm. yeah then i said let me just do my own then i leave the rest to the lord god knows god knows after you are done with this step he'll take you to another step another thing that uh, i would like to tell people out here oh, yeah. is that they say god only help those people who run up to him yeah. then another thing you will not just sit there then <laughs> you say that <laughs> i am leaving the rest to the lord you also need to work hard yeah how was your exams kcse kcse exams were not easy being that i was doing them without a calculator I was doing them without this mathematical table. And looking at that this school, yeah. maybe we did have some of the best facilities, yeah, yeah, the library, yeah. not yes. well stocked, the yes. laboratories. Yes. Uh -huh. So all you have to get is you, you have to do more and more research, and then you have to be with your teachers. Like now, you should not even leave a space for your teachers. You should oh inquire goodness. more Every and more. Like, uh, yeah, counted, yeah. 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 Oh so I did exams without a calculator, mathematical <laughs> table. Yeah. <laughs> and. I passed. When, uh, I was very, very happy. Oh my goodness. Let you me tell you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think the size of the school doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. The size Our of viewers, the school, you have to get yes, this, yeah? The size of the school doesn't matter. If you are out there mm. and you don't have school fees, you mm. don't go to a big school. Do mm. not stress yourself. Just go to a school that you are able to afford. They are the same teachers, the same, <laughs> same books. Same you teacher. learn, read. There were challenges. But at least at the university there was help. And then back then now I, I started being the breadwinner of my family. You know, like I, I have my siblings, my brothers, so they were in uh, in high school. And now they're looking yeah. up to you. So you know, I used to take this help. Now this help would pay their school fees oh my and give them food. <laughs> and some use the help just to buy home theater yes. and just go partying. And yes. Mm. And uh, now the university would sort out part of my school fees. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, because then now you went for this beauty thing at the, yes. and you, when you were crowned Miss Chuka University. Yes. Oh my, before you were crowned Miss, yeah, you had been crowned earlier Miss Chuka University. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I was that feeling. Because of course, maybe that's what gave you the inspiration to yeah. go for this uh, uh, contest. Miss Chuka University is the title that opened my ways. Yeah, I Very think this is what encouraged me to do so much, so much. And uh, being Miss Chuka University also showed me that I could win Miss okay. Tourism Sea County. Okay. Maybe you can tell our viewers, uh, what does it take, the mental? Is it only beauty and beauty or what else does it take? It that is campus? not beauty. Uh, when we, we look at the beautiful women around here, you <laughs> might find that I'm even the last one. It's all not about the beauty it's never all about the beauty mm -hmm. it requires brain sure. you know like when you go out there then you hear people saying oh miss kenya miss world is not even beautiful it's <laughs> not all about beauty is seen in different aspects so beauty is all about the courage the ability to go for what you want the confidence like, uh, when i was even going to model i didn't have clothes i oh didn't have shoes <laughs> yes <laughs> How did you navigate the, that terrain? You know, like I had to borrow. I borrowed clothes, I borrowed shoes 
from my friends. Oh my goodness, then they told me like, you have to go for this, you can do this, you can do this. Mm -hmm. So I was going for them. And at the same time, I was also going for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are Miss University, you mm -hmm. have so many opportunities, like from school fees, everything sure. like yeah so i didn't have school fees at that time then i decided to go for this because if my house can be paid my <laughs> fees can be paid, paid yes uh, i don't listen to the naysayers i don't totally i believe in myself i know i have what it takes to go for something mm -hmm. so that is what keeps me going Maybe in terms of uh, the pressure that came, because I know with this prize also there was uh, something you could feel a bit lonely. Yes. Maybe how did you handle that? Uh, you know, this comes with a lot. Sure, a it lot, does. like you lose friends, like people are even afraid to associate with you. They mm -hmm. think now you are in another class, better than them. I do believe that real, real friends don't live. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so they, they stick don't. longer. Yeah. So the ones that stick with you, no matter how high you are or how, <laughs> or how low you, you are, are. Yeah, those are the ones you take. You know what people don't know is, mm -hmm. people start fearing. You know, at times people think that now we have so many people coming after us. <laughs> Why do we get lonely at some time? Yes. <laughs> sure they will. Uh, okay. Yes. So people fear you. People think that, hey, Will I manage? Can I manage? Really, oh like you are now you're up on there. Another <laughs> you are the, yes. the pinnacle. In 2018, you were crowned uh, Miss Sierra County. Mm -hmm. How was the feeling? It was a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. I was very, very happy. I was so excited. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really thank God for that day. But again, I was also scared at the same time. I was scared because, you know, a crown comes with so much. Uh, there is this bit of you carrying the whole image of the Sierra County sure. and also you have different girls looking up to you. <laughs> uh, what inspired me to go for this uh, was uh, I really wanted to work for my entire Sierra County mm -hmm. and I, I love working with the girls. I also love helping the community. So when I heard about this platform, I knew this is it. This tourism Sierra County comes mm -hmm. after auditioning of the sub-counties. Okay. So at my time there was no auditioning of Miss Sub Counties, okay. but at that time we had a, a platform of uh, Miss Ugunja Sub County. Okay. So I went for that, and now through that is when I learned about Miss Tourism Kenya Sierra County. So it was like a week ago I was crowned Miss Ugunja Sub County. Uh -huh. Then uh, Miss Tourism Kenya Sierra County auditions were happening a week, a week later. later. Then I decided to come over. When I came, I'm telling you, we were so many, like almost around 32 oh girls. I was Take really the bull determined. by the horns, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we came for auditions. We did auditions and I was number four. I think 28 girls were chosen. Uh, the auditions were very stiff. You needed to know your entire county very, very well. Very, very well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. just think. <laughs> And leave the podium. Yeah, so it's not all about modeling and everything, whatever people think, it's not the case. Mm. It's all about how you know your county, how you present yourself. Yeah, because most ladies, when we talk about Ms. Uh, tourism, yeah. uh, Kenya, they may think about it's about brain, yeah. it's about beauty, beauty, it's about flawless legs and yes. how you can walk. Yes, it's, Maybe it's not more than that. Of, it's more than that. And when I was number four, I went down. I sat myself. I called myself for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> then I asked myself, what don't I know? What have I not done right that made me not to be number one in the auditions? You find yourself that you think you know Sierra County so much. Then there is a lot, a <laughs> lot inside Sierra County that you, you weren't even aware of. Okay. So you Google, you ask, you visit so i went back i researched i visited these places <laughs> so when i came back i came back uh, package. package i didn't know about my entire county very very well there were girls who knew the the, the sierra county as a whole then at that time i also didn't know the tourist attraction sites that are found within the sierra county i <laughs> knew some but i didn't know <laughs> i didn't know all of them yeah and then the girls were also good in everything. Mm -hmm. In 22 of us went to the boot camp. Mm -hmm. Then uh, from we stayed at the boot camp for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So we were being trained. Uh, we were being trained on different 
both aspects. You are being trained about the etiquette, the modeling as a whole, the catwalk session. You are also being trained on the tourist attraction sites that are found within Sierra County and the entire Kenya. So maybe you can tell us about uh, Sierra County. What is it, this uh, thing in the Sierra County? I don't have viewers from Sierra County and even uh, beyond, they want to know. Sierra County, first of all, is uh, the home of the 44th president of the United States. We have the biggest Gotramogi, the Ramogi Hill. Oh, that the is the biggest. You know that is where Luo was settled first. Yeah, we talk about <laughs> Ramogi. Ramogi is yeah. so iconic uh, to the Luo it uh, community. It is so iconic. Actually, uh, we are called Nyikwa Ramogi to mean the grandchildren of Ramogi. <laughs> the grandchildren of Ramogi, It yeah. comes from that Ramogi Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have very beautiful hotels in Sierra County. Oh we have the Distinction Gardens, we have the VIP Hotel in Madea, in Madea. we have the Pride Hotel, yes. Okay, yeah, maybe just apart from uh, the I hotels, think. maybe what else? Uh, we also have, you know, the way Luos, we have so, so sumptuous cuisines. We have <laughs> Alia. <laughs> <laughs> the that they show you should get yes. to Alia. Uh, yeah, and you know Sierra County is the only county that have the largest Oxbow Lake. Lake oh my goodness. We say I have great, great people. If you can tell us your success story yeah. as the reigning uh, Miss Sierra County. My success story is I have helped several girls in the entire Sierra County. I've got mm -hmm. them in school. Mm -hmm. I also award some schools like uh, the top students. Oh, that's I've, great. Yes, I've also given hope to some people, like the people who used to live with the Jigas. We've done that anti Jiga campaign. Mm -hmm. I, I've helped the needy, foods, clothes. Mm -hmm. I've also mentored several, several girls. And now, about this teenage pregnancy, I've moved from one doorstep to the other. <laughs> so you are knocking on every door. I have also done a lot of anti Jigas campaigns. Mm -hmm. You know me growing up, I think I see Jigas as normal. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> it, as <laughs> it is normal. Like, I grew up in a community <coughs> that Jigas really infested. Then, uh, I don't think I really want to see someone suffer from jiggers yet. We have the way that we can get them out of that. Crown comes with the community. They had to help the community. Maybe as Miss Tourism uh, 2018, who was your role model? Because I talk about inspiration. There must be somebody that you are looking up to. Mm -hmm. And be locally or even uh, internationally. So who is your role model as far as beauty and uh, modeling is concerned? I am telling you, I love Lupita. Oh my goodness. I love that. Figure. Yeah, I love that woman. You know, we don't share much. I think we come from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But the fact that uh, Lupita has that courage, mm -hmm. that confidence to go for whatever she wants, to come out there, you know. <laughs> and of course, now, you know, because this PJP uh, uh, also came with challenges. Yeah. And what are some of the pitfalls that you faced? Uh -huh. And which have given you your lowest moment that you almost want to break? Uh -huh. My lowest moment is uh, you having money, mm -hmm. you seeing someone that is really in need and thinking that you can help him or her. People run to me, people even knock at my door. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, I, I, yes, I have a child, I don't have school fees, please help me get Basari. <laughs> yeah, I have this and this, uh, I don't have clothes, I don't have a house, and then you don't have the cash. Yeah. You know, right now I have really networked, mm -hmm. so I have contacts of, I, I, I am so close to the first lady of the oh, Sierra nice. County, okay. yeah, I even talk to the women rep, mm -hmm. then I have so many politician friends, okay. so when someone come to me, you know, I tell you come next week and I am at zero, <laughs> but when next week comes, I have to work hard to get oh whatever is needed, mm -hmm. yes. I, I want to make sure that no girl leaves school. No, no girl leaves school. I want to keep as many girls as possible. You know this issue of sanitary? Mm -hmm. Back in my days, you know, we, we could use clothes. <laughs> we could, <laughs> yeah. 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 But right now you find that uh, when a girl doesn't have sanitary towel, she will not even go to school. Like, you I'm know, sure. the, the menstruation cycle, the period time is about four days 
a month. Yeah, but, so yeah. you find that in these four days, the lady will not go to school. Yeah. yeah, so I want to keep as many girls as possible in school. school yeah. yeah, I want to touch so many lives as possible. I want to change the entire society. I, I, I wish everyone would just normalize sex education. I even wish we would put it in our curriculum because these big, girls have <laughs> sex. A better topic, yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. these girls have sex, but there is no one to tell them what to do during that time that they are having sex. Yeah. And also, I think we should involve our boys. You know, people nowadays they just talk to the girl, talk yeah. to the girl. The girl child, yes, yeah? but these boys are the ones making them pregnant. So I just wish I would get that platform to talk to both of them. Like tell the boys what do you need because truth be told these girls are really having sex. Some uh, girls are having sex because of these pads first. Oh my yes. And I think just that's why because you are someone sending. has just promised one hundred bob for sanitary. Oh my goodness. They are also having sex for chips, for mandazis. Then another thing, I think some parents don't really talk to girls. You know, there are things that you should sit your girl down and tell yeah, him or yeah. her. The, after talking to the girl, I think she'll also understand where she is coming from. Yeah, because true. you might not expect chips in a family that is really struggling uh, yeah, to yeah, feed yeah, the yeah, whole true. family. Yes. Yeah, again, you know we cannot reach all the girls. So to the parents, you need also to talk to your girls about sex education. Mm -hmm. Do not let your girl go visiting. Because Thank that goodness. is where, <laughs> yes, that is where they mess. You know, Ouma, I know when you're growing up, I probably is the same time I was growing up. Yeah. I don't think your parent will let you go visit someone. But right now, the school closes mm -hmm. like this. The kid is in the vehicle going to see the aunt, the, the cousin. Aunt, I, I don't really... You know, when your child gets pregnant right now, it's your child. Yeah. yeah it's and not you another. Do on her, yeah. So you can't wait for someone to come and talk to your child when mm -hmm. you're not able to talk to your child. Yeah. yeah. But I was shocked. I think the other day I was talking to some boys mm -hmm. and they don't really know what to do during that act. <laughs> like, what do you need during that act? You know, at mm -hmm. times we might be blaming our, blaming our boys. It's only our girls who have this information. So the girl reaches there and she's not able to tell the boy what boy. is needed. <laughs> I yeah. think that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. So we are supposed to tell the boys what is also needed. We should just normalize this sex education. Mm -hmm. How I wish I would campaign so that it's put on the curriculum. Maybe as uh, the reigning uh, 2018 uh, Miss Tourism, yes. maybe you can tell us uh, your wish list. My wish list is more platforms more networks, more fans, more fan base to be able to continue with what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Teenage pregnancy, sanitary towels campaign, anti-jiga campaign, raising funds, campaigns, yeah? yes, <laughs> raising funds for the needy, all that. So, uh, you know, you can come from a humble background and you can come from a richer background. It sure. doesn't matter. It doesn't you matter. find people in the richer backgrounds that can't even come out and speak. Sure. Can't even go for whatever they want. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I want to tell anyone watching this video, anyone listening to me, that it doesn't matter whatever you come from. What matters is the confidence and the courage to go for what you want. I think I love my community, my people, the entire Sia County Bounty. society comes first. It is my responsibility. And mm. you know it is my heritage just as I love my culture. My culture is everything. And of course, as we wrap up this, it has been a blessed afternoon. Because I know it's not every day that you'll meet a uh, pretty lady for a sit down about what she's doing. And of course, one thing that I've picked from this interview is that uh, it doesn't matter about your background. What matters is about resilience, determination. And of course, like she told us that her role model is Lupita Nyong'o. And Lupita Nyong'o, who won the Oscar Awards in 2014, she was fond of saying that your dreams are valid. And of course, I want to encourage our young ones that no matter your background, Latasha's mom was just bringing Chang'e and using that to pay her fee. But of course, she did not tire. Even when she dropped out of school for Maragoli girls, later on she managed to go to just a small day school in a village in Sifuyo until managed to go to the university and being the first girl who made it to the university in 2010 uh, KCSE. So it's about determination, it's about resilience. And of course, the people who come to your aid don't disappoint them. And of course, that has been given at the right and she's so young. So thank you, Leticia. Thank you. Yeah, it has been nice having you for this session. Mm -hmm.